This incredibly thin and lightweight e-ink tablet combines note-taking and AI in one device. Let's find out more. Today we're going to talk about the AI Note 2, which hasn't yet officially been released, but I was fortunate to be able to get an early model to test out, and I'm glad I did, because this thing is quite interesting. Before we start, yes, this is sponsored. However, it remains an objective review. I will be critical, and I will be sharing my objective thoughts. And before we go into the AI Note 2, a quick note on e-ink tablets and what sets them apart from regular tablets and why they are much better for reading and taking notes. And that's because they actually use ink. They have very tiny capsules filled with black and white ink. And when electricity is applied, those ink particles move to the surface to form images and text. And because you're seeing pigment actually on the surface, instead of light shining into your eyes, as is the case with tablets, these displays look like actual paper. They, they feel like paper. They work great in sunlight and they consume very little power. And writing on them feels like writing an actual paper rather than on glass, as you would if you're using an Apple Pencil and an iPad, for example. And as you can see, the result is, is very crisp letters. Look at those pictures and it actually feels like paper to the touch. I don't know if you can hear that on the microphone. So now let's talk a bit about the AI Note second generation. And to be honest, as soon as I took it out of the box, I was blown away by how thin and lightweight it is. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera, but this thing is extremely thin. It's 42 millimeters thin and extremely lightweight. It weighs only 295 grams and literally holding it in your hand feels like an experience, feels like holding a stack of papers and not a high-tech device. Also has a really nice build quality, looks and feels very premium. And I, I really still can't believe how lightweight and thin this thing is. The screen is a 10.65 e-ink display screen with 1920 by 2560 pixels and pushing 300 dpi or pixels per inch, which is the best you can get right now in e-ink displays. On the bezel, it has a power button over here. And what's nice about this is that it also doubles as a fingerprint sensor. So if I unlock this, instead of putting in my passcode, I can just put my finger over here and it's gonna unlock with my fingerprint, which is pretty nice. Now, as I said in the introduction, this is the AI Note. So it has some AI features built in, starting with this button over here, which when you press pulls up AI search. The tablet also has built-in ChatGPT. And if you can see over here, there's that AI icon. And if you swipe to the right, it pulls up ChatGPT and you can literally ask any question. You can pull up the keyboard and, and start typing. So for example, what is e-ink? Hit send and it's gonna use ChatGPT to generate a response. And as you can see, it's starting to generate that response. E-ink or electronic ink is a type of display technology, primarily used in e-readers, et cetera, et cetera. And there's another shortcut button over here. So if you swipe from this one, it's gonna pull up a quick note, which you can write. And then swiping up from the middle is gonna open a window that shows you all the open apps, let's say. And the nice thing is that actually has gestures other than those. So if I go to the settings and go to buttons and gestures, there is a bunch of gestures that are quite useful from taking a screenshot to my favorite undo and restore is a three point left swipe or a right swipe instead of tapping undo or redo, just use gestures. And that's only the start. What's more interesting is that it uses AI to turn your handwritten notes into actual type text. It also uses AI to transcribe recorded audio and summarize your meetings, and we'll see those in just a bit. Speaking of recording meetings, it's able to do that because it has a quad array microphone system. So there are actually four microphones over here on the display, which let you record meetings and later transcribe them or even summarize them. This thing comes with Android 14 installed, and because it's Android, you can use the Play Store to download apps. And as you can see, I actually downloaded Kindle app, which turns this into essentially a Kindle for reading. And as you can see for reading, it's infinitely better than an iPad because of that e-ink and you can zoom in 
to make the text larger or smaller and literally use it as you would use a Kindle or an e-reader. But that is not what it is primarily designed to do. And that is note taking. So let me show you that. And let's start by starting a new note. And what you can do is change the template. So there's a couple of templates over here. And if you click on style planner, document analysis. So there's multiple different styles of template. I'm going to stick to the traditional one. And let me show you how good the writing actually is. So you can, you've got multiple pencils to choose from. And, and as soon as the stylus hits the screen, you realize how smooth and effortless it is. It feels very much like paper, like actually a felt to pen gliding on a piece of paper. And I'm going to try to see if you can actually hear what it sounds like. Sounds like paper as well. The stylus is pressure sensitive and it recognizes tilt as well. So if I click the pencil, as you can see, applying light pressure gives light shades and then applying more pressure gives darker shades. And if I tilt, I'm going to shade like that. And then my favorite, the calligraphy pen. just gorgeous. There's very little latency. I'm going to try to show you that. And as you can see, extremely low latency. I think it feels as close to pen and paper as can be. And the stylus attaches magnetically to the side, as you can see. Now the stylus itself is a multifunction stylus. It actually has a button over here. And it's quite interesting what this does. So if you press and hold the button while you're far from the display, it acts as an eraser. So you can actually erase what you just wrote. But then if you press the button when you're close to the display about one or two centimeters and hold it, this will pop up the lasso tool and it's going to let you select your text, which will let you move it around. But what's more interesting is if you select the text, you can also invoke ChatGPT. So if you do AI search, it's going to read what you wrote, what's e-ink, and it's going to give you a chat GPT answer to whatever you circled. Now there's even more AI features. Let me go back to the main screen and I actually wrote a handwritten note over here to test the OCR or the optical character recognition and, and to see how good it is. And as you can see, I started with more legible handwriting and it got worse as I got down the page just to see how accurate it's going to be or if it's going to be able to read my handwriting. So if you click over here, you've got OCR. So clicking on that is going to read the document. And as you can see, it's remarkable how it was able to recognize my barely legible handwriting. It got it all perfectly. And if I close this and I, I go back, look at that word, for example, this was recognized that there's no way this reads this recognized, but because this uses AI, it's actually contextual. So it doesn't only read each word by itself. It understands context. And from the context, it was able to infer that this word over here is actually recognized and it transcribed that. The other thing I want to show you is that it can actually record you speaking using those four array microphones. And as it is recording, it is actually transcribing everything you say, as you can see over here. And later on, you can actually hear the recording, though you would need to connect earbuds or headphones via Bluetooth to be able to hear the recording. If I hit stop, you're going to see the playhead over here and you're going to be able to hear the recording if you have headphones connected via Bluetooth. The other nice thing is that if you're recording while taking notes, there's something called click to speak. So you can actually click on any word that you've written and it's going to automatically jump the recording to that port, which is really nice. And if you do have a long recorded meeting, it can actually use AI to summarize it. So what I actually did I recorded one of my YouTube reviews. It was about a phone case. So I recorded the entire review. As you can see, it transcribed it all. And then you can actually insert that into the note. So if I click on that, it's going to insert the entire text into the note. And of course, you can still 
annotate and do whatever you want over here. But also, if you click on the AI button again, and you click on meeting summary, it's going to take a few seconds, and it's going to generate actual summary of this entire five minute review. And if you actually read the summary, it does a pretty good job at generating a very cohesive and, and reasonable summary of that text. Now, in addition to taking notes, as I said, you can use it as a Kindle. So you can download the Kindle app or any other app, but also there's a reading section over here, which lets you import any document PDF to read. By default, there's the user manual. And again, it is very crisp that 300 pixel per inch display actually really shines and you can zoom in. I actually have it on the fast or best speed mode, not even the best display. And I don't know how much you can see that on camera, but if I change it to best display, you can see how, how crisp those letters are. So display is really wonderful in 300 PPI. And again, in, in reading mode, if you wanted to, you can actually annotate on the page, you can highlight things and draw and, and take notes. And once you're done, you can share whatever you wrote. And they actually have an app, an AI note app available for both your phone and your computer, PC or Mac, which synchronizes all the notes. However, I could not get that to work. And this could be because this might be a, a pre-production model. So the notes did not synchronize. I have reached out to AI note to inquire about it, but I'm pretty sure it's just because this hasn't been officially released yet. So the notes did not synchronize, but you can also export the notes either as a web page or a PDF document or a text document, or you can export the recorded files. And when exporting, you can either email it or you can generate a QR code, which is pretty interesting. You can actually require a passcode to access it and you can set an expiration date. And if you click on continue, it's going to generate that QR code, which you can share. And this is the access code. And anyone with that QR code can actually see the document yeah, you just shared. So that's it for me and the AI Note 2. Now, at this point, I don't know what the launch price of this is going to be, but I, I will put links in the description to the product page when I have those. But I was generally very impressed with this e-ink tablet. As I said, the build quality, the lightness and how thin it is, is just remarkable. I'm very happy with that. Writing on it feels great. It feels very close to actual paper. I would have liked if the stylus itself felt a little bit more premium. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It just, it doesn't feel as premium as the tablet itself does. And I also did not feel the pressure sensitivity it was very pronounced. So it is there, but it's very subtle. But still, despite that, writing notes on this is very easy and very effortless. It has the right amount of friction, in my opinion, the, the right sensation. Even as I showed you, sounds like writing on paper. And there's only one thing I wish this thing had, and that is a front light. Now, not many uh, note-taking e-ink tablets have those, but some do. And the advantage is if you're reading or writing notes in a dark room, the presence of that front light is going to help a lot. But as I said, most note-taking uh, e-ink tablets don't have that, but it's just something I wish it had. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as this encourages me to continue producing content. Until next time, cheers.